Hello, beautiful Nikki here from Crazy Simple Truth Ministries, and today I would like to show you how you can find cross-reference verses or connect related passages, and I've got four ways, so let's get right into it. The first one is a good study Bible. This is the NLT Illustrated Study Bible. This is great for beginners. I do not use the NLT translation to study with. However, it makes a great translation comparison for you. So here in the margins, you are going to have cross-reference verses. So let's say we're studying chapter eight and we want to find some related passages to verse eight. So we would go here and we would look at these, okay? Then in the commentary or the notes of a good study Bible, there should also be cross-reference passages or verses. So you would go to those. Sometimes it's other books of the Bible. Sometimes it's the same book and same chapter, okay? Finding cross-reference verses or related passages and connecting the truths of the Bible together is essential, okay? So this is a way that you can do that. You could also just use a commentary book, although I suggest that you have a good study Bible instead. And with Genesis chapter 8, where we have got here new beginnings, you would read through this and you would look for cross-reference verses. For instance, right here, we've got Psalm 10, 1 in the NKJV. We've got 2 Corinthians 1, 8. So a good commentary book will also have cross-reference verses. Although I want you to avoid commentary until you've done all of the other steps of in-depth Bible study. Now let me show you another way that you can do this that's very easy. And that is using a tool like Bible Hub, I use the Berean Standard Bible as my main study Bible. And so for me, I use Bible Hub a lot anyway. But let's say we're going to go to Genesis. The reason why I'm using Genesis is because that is the study that we are going through right now in my live online Bible study group, which you are more than welcome to join. We'd love to have you. doesn't matter if you're a beginner and you've been studying the Bible for a long time. So here I'm Genesis 1.8. So let's say I'm looking for one on verse 8. I will go here. And then I will go up to this menu right up here and I will click cross references. Okay. Then you'll scroll down and you'll read them. There's only one in eight, seven and eight, nine. So this is not super helpful. Let's scroll down to the treasury of scripture knowledge. Now this will give you some other cross reference verses. Here's an example. Song of Solomon 115. How beautiful you are, my darling. Oh, how very beautiful. Your eyes are like doves. Now, if we're reading about a dove in Genesis chapter 8, this has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on in Genesis chapter 8, right? It's using the same word, but it's not using the same context or storyline, okay? Now, this one says, look, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Again, it shows the topic of a dove, but it is not beneficial to what you are studying in Genesis chapter 8. Now, that doesn't mean that the treasury of scripture knowledge isn't valuable, because it is, but it isn't in this particular verse. So what this would tell me, since there's only two and they are surrounding verse eight, that this doesn't have good cross-reference verses. So really your only hope then is to look these up and see if they use, if, if they're talking about the flood or if they're talking about Noah or the water drying up or the dove being sent out, anything like that that's similar. But if they're talking about a dove in general, it's not going to be helpful. And you won't find a cross-reference verse on every passage. Another way that you can find cross-reference verses is to go to Step Bible app. And actually, I found out that if you use your phone and you just go to stepbible.org, it's more effective than the app. You can see it better just like you would if you were on a computer. So go over here, make sure you have BSB or whatever translation you are using. I use the Berean Standard Bible. Then you're gonna wanna go over here and pick your book, Genesis chapter eight, done. And then we're gonna go to verse eight and we're gonna click on a word. 
So let's see, then Noah sent out to Dove to see if the waters had receded from the surface of the ground. So no wonder you can't find cross-reference verses for that because that's not a verse that I would typically look at a cross-reference verse in. So Nikki, why did you choose that verse? Well, I opened up my NLT study Bible and this was the first one that I saw. So that's a good example of, you know what? Let's find something else. Let's look at the most important truth in this chapter. So God remembered Noah. That's interesting. So what if I click on remembered? Now, let me explain something to you. This stepbible.org looks for cross-reference verses using the same word, okay? So if I click remembered, it's going to give me a definition of the Hebrew word zachar. Zachar, I don't know how you say it, but it sounds good to me. Um, to remember, recall, bring to mind. Now, if I click on it again, it's going to come up with this word analysis. It tells me that this word occurs about 223 times. It also shows me related words down here, but I'm going to click on this number. It's going to show me every place in the Old Testament that this word is used. So I will go through, I will look at these, I will see if any of them are helpful. And look at Genesis 9, 15 is helpful because God said, I will remember my covenant. So God is remembering. We wouldn't, we wouldn't care about a verse that was talking about someone else remembering. We want a verse about God remembering. So here in Genesis 9, he does... Um, Genesis 30, it says, then God remembered Rachel. He listened to her and opened her womb. Um, so that one's interesting. You would go through and pick out the ones that are most helpful. Here's a good example, Genesis 42, 9. Joseph remembered his dreams about them and said, you are spies. Is that helpful? No, that's not relating the truth of God remembering Noah and saving him. OK, so you want to be careful when you look for cross reference verses to be sure that they are the same topic or truth. Now, see how here the word invoke is highlighted. All this means is that this is the same Hebrew word. It wasn't translated in the Berean Standard Bible as remembered, but it was translated as invoke but it comes from the same Hebrew word. So stepbible.org is gonna find you cross-reference verses based on a word. And Bible Hub is going to find you cross-reference verses based on the verse or topic, okay? Let's find another way that we can possibly find a cross-reference verse. And this is your dictionary or concordance. In the back of your book, I'm going to see if the word remembered is used here. It's probably not, but I'm just going to check it out. And look at there, it is. So this is another important tool that you can use to find cross-reference verses. And the great thing about a concordance in the back of your study Bible is that it will have a partial part of the verse I will remember my covenant. So it's giving you Genesis 9, 15. It says, remembered his covenant promise. So that's Exodus 2, 24. I'm sure that's talking about God too. Um, remembered the wonders he has through they are, though they are remembered as being, remembered his covenant with them. So here's one about covenant, God remembering Psalm 106, 45. That's a great cross reference verse. It's referring to God remembering his people and doing something for them. He always remembers his covenant. That's beautiful. Psalm 111, 5. He remembered us in our weakness. That is beautiful too. So anything that's talking about God remembering um, something that he's going to do for someone in some way, that is a good cross-reference verse. Now, one last thing I want to go over with you is if you are looking for a cross-reference verse and you are on Bible Hub, for instance, here, okay, let me go to verse, let's see, which one is God remembered? I think it's up higher. 8-1? Yes, 8-1. Okay, let's say we're here. What we're going to click on is audio, it will take us down, whoop, that isn't what I wanna do. Hold on. We will go up here to cross references, okay, again. 
Now it's going to give us cross references. So these are a lot that were in that study Bible, but other places. So this is a great verse. God remembered. So cha uh, chapter eight, verse eight was a terrible verse to give you as an example. And I apologize, but you know what? You have to learn. You have to learn which ones to look at. And if the verse is specifically telling you something important about God, like God remembered Noah, that is worth looking into. So you would go through these and you would pick the ones that are most helpful. But I do want to show you something. If you see a cross-reference verse, um, let me find one. Um, I'm trying to find one. Let's go to Isaiah 44, 27. So let's say I think, wow, this is a great verse. You want to click on it? I'm going to go down here to where it says context, and you want to look at before and after this verse. So this is going to give you the topic, Jerusalem to be restored, okay? And you're going to learn if that topic actually fits with what you are studying, which is God remembered Noah. And then once you do that, and this is a essential, crucial skill to learn, look at the context of the verse before you just write it down. Look at where it belongs and why it's where it is. If it doesn't fit, then do not add it to your Bible study notes. So I hope this was helpful. I know it was a crash course in um, cross-reference verses and related passages, but if you want to learn more, you should consider joining my Bible study group um, at, as you can get one-on-one um, -on -one help from me. And also the other ladies in the group are super helpful. So if you want information on that, it is in the video notes down below. And you are beautiful. God loves you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.